Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here and welcome to Expeditions. I am so excited for this game. I have been so excited since they first announced this. This is a Mud Runner game. I am oh, I'm looking forward to this. Basically, what it looks like is now instead of just like Mud Running, we go and we take equipment, we set up like expeditions places, like we do stuff. Do it just looks so cool. I'm so excited. Also, if you guys end up going through Epic Games, make sure you use code Z1 Gaming at checkout to uh, help support the channel and throw a little bit my way. Do appreciate it. All right, let's see what we've got here. Um, so I will have a link down below if you guys want to check out the game. I don't believe it's out yet. I believe it comes out on March 5th. Uh, so yeah, we got some early access to it. So uh, yeah, huge shout out to uh, to the you know the the Expeditions Mud Runner game team for for sending it to me. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, uh, before jumping into first expedition, let's learn the basics of driving. Okay, so release uh, handbrake, press that. Start moving forward. W. Okay, so oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Release our handbrake. Oh, this truck looks sick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much fun the mud in this game was. Oh, it's so good. Absolutely love it. I played SnowRunner a little bit again. If you guys missed it, oh man, I highly recommend checking it out, but it's it's a lot of fun. Oh, this is so good. Okay, it wants me to go here. Now it's probably gonna have me, are we gonna lock in some four wheel drive? We're we gonna do some diffs. What's going on here? Um, okay, keep going to the marker. Oh, this is good. I love the articulation of the truck. It looks It looks good. It feels good. You know what? I gotta say, if I worked in a shop like this, I'd definitely throw some gravel down. <laughs> Did I not make it? Uh-oh. I might have to back up a little bit. I thought it wanted me to pull in here. Oh no, it wants me to follow the marker. Oh, I'm a dummy. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh man. All right, here we go. Let's, okay, stage, oh, we're going into four wheel drive now. Uh, to move further, you'll need to engage the uh, all wheel drive making the traversal of any rough terrain much easier, but at the cost of higher fuel consumption. To engage all-wheel drive, hold left shift and then press E. Oh. Oh, I put it, I just put it in um, auto. Let's put it in auto and, oh, parking brakes on. Here we go. There we go. Oh, we can throw it in low and stuff like that if we need to. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's get through it. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful mud. <gasps> Oh, it's amazing. It looks so good. I want to play in the mud. All right. So now what do we got? Stage completed. What are we going to do now? If you're completely stuck, you must engage the differential lock. This will help a lot in order to get uh, in order to do so. You'll have to shift to a lower gear. OK, so hold left shift. It wants me to go to low. And then it wants me to hit uh, Q to put diff lock in. All right, here we go. We got this. Oh, we've got this. Oh, which oh, it wants me to go around to over there. Absolutely, I will. Oh my gosh, to the axles. Let's go. Come on, to the floorboards. There's gotta be a spot we can sink it to the floorboards. I don't know, this truck sits up pretty high. If we get to the floorboards, we might just be out of luck here. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is so cool. All right, we've made, we've made it. Stage completed. I'm not going to those rocks, am I? Enter exchange mode. Um, on the left is vehicles inventory. Uh, the right side is the resource area. Select the quest item, add it to the vehicles inventory, then close the menu. Okay, so resource zone. Oh, it wants me to take. Um, oh, transfer. So that was the item that wanted me to transfer over. Okay. So now we've got whatever item back here. We're gonna have to go back to auto. And we're gonna have to reverse our way out of here. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, let's put it up here on this guy. Stage completed. We've done it. My goodness. Um, adjusting the pressure depends on the type of train. Reducing it will significantly. <gasps> Tire inflation system. We're going to let some air out. That's okay. That's amazing. <laughs> reducing it will significantly improve traction, but at the cost of higher fuel consumption. All right, let's try. So open the tire inflation system, press T and then reduce it. The pressure a. Okay. So press T reduced pressure. We're going to do reduced pressure. T tire traction on rock is going to be excellent on mud is going to be average. Oh my gosh, it actually like lowers your vehicle too. Look at the vehicle. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love it. Okay. So now it wants me to head back. Um, get out of the swamp. All right, we're gonna try to get out of here with 
no, no diff lock engaged. We're see if we can just hit it. Oh, I love it. Oh, we were a little deep there. Oh my gosh, this truck is so cool. All right, now I know we're playing this tutorial right now, but that's okay because we are looking or early access to the game. So well, we got to figure out what we're doing here. Um, Extra will take you across long distances for this. We recommend it taking fuel canisters with you. Hold left control and then refuel the vehicle. Okay, so left control and then refuel the vehicle. Oh, okay, cool. That's easy enough. Now, does it say how much, um, I wonder if it says how much, oh, inventory. Okay, stage completed. If your vehicle is damaged, use spare parts to repair the damaged components. Hold left control and select damaged component. Um, I think I can just highlight over this. Okay, yeah, so we have these and then repair it. So I guess the best thing to probably repair is let's repair the engine. How do I, oh, repair with space bar. Oh, and we have 140 like repair points. Okay. Gotcha. Wouldn't it be nice if it was just that easy? That'd be nice. All right. Stuff for expeditions. Interact with the main office. Uh, deliver. Expedition complete. And then we get some money. Okay. Items. First trip. 3,000 items sold to headquarters. ERS. Okay. All right. So that was our, that was our little, um, that was our little tutorial. I liked it. It was fun. It was exciting. But let's see what we actually get into here. Let's see what we start off with. Little Colorado, zero of five expeditions. So expeditions are the main missions, progress through the game and earn various rewards by completing them. So we uh, did this one. Oh wait, no, we did we not do this one? First expedition, no, we did not. Okay, so requirements, a jack screw and sideboards. All right, so difficulty is easy. Distance is a thousand units. <laughs> um, Off-road. Terrain height differences, watery terrain. Okay. So we get uh, re prepayments 15 and then five and then 2000 is payment rewards. Okay. So let's go ahead and select this one. Oh, wait, there's vehicle selection. This is a list of your vehicles. Different vehicles are better suited for different types of terrain and expeditions. Truck store. Uh, oh, recovery. Oh, recovery cost is $4,200. Uh, but I don't have. Wait, are these all the vehicles that I can take? <gasps> Look at that little thing. Oh, but we need sideboards. We have to have sideboards. So whatever we take, we need to have sideboards. I mean, this thing was sick. I really like this guy. Uh, recovery cost is 3000. Do I want to add that one? Let me actually see here. If I go back. Okay. So this one, I would say we need to take this guy. So let's add that inventory. Uh, it says we need to, we need this. And then uh, all we needed was that and sideboards, right? And we have sideboards. Okay, cool. Now for sideboards, so fuels 140 liters, uh, spare parts is 50. Do I want to take an additional stock uh, of fuel includes 50 liters? So what is the, hold on, what is my range on this truck? Does it actually tell me resources one slot? So does this mean that the resources on this truck, it, it's good if it's filled for 2750 and the, only, the distance we're going is a thousand. So we should actually be good. We should be good. Yeah, because it looks like it says like it looks like the distance right there is that. Okay, uh, so we're good on those. And then team composition, unique abilities. What? This is a list of specialists that are available to you. You can hire them to make the expedition easier or to get more benefits from it. So mechanics. Oh, like we can hire people to go with us. Complete uh, Waters Life or Conquest. Minus 30% truck damage. Plus five supplies limit. Plus 100% uh, setup radius. Oh, airdrop oh this is cool so like these different guys have different uh, abilities and things like that that will help you along the way okay cool so let's go ahead and deploy field operation base uh start expedition oh my gosh we got this how do i know where we're going here so once we get to the crossroads okay so basically it's going to highlight a little point to point for us okay all right and away we go i guess uh, in expeditions, you need to navigate the train. Use the mini map for this. Open a mini map. Perfect. Get to the pond and examine the echo sounder. So we're going to the pond and examining the echo sounder. 
Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh my gosh. Stage completed. Use the echo sounder to determine the depth of bodies of water you're about to cross. <gasps> okay. So open the, the devices menu, tab, and we want to echo sound. Oh, that is sick. Okay, so we better go ahead and uh, left shift. Let's go ahead and do a uh, four wheel drive here. Dangerous water. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. <gasps> oh, I love it. Should we echo sound again? <laughs> We're in the deep. Oh, we are in the deep. Oh gosh, we got some damage. All right, so we need to go ahead and take that. And then, um, so if I hit left control, can we see what, what damage? Okay, we took a, we took 2% damage, we're fine. All right, so now we need to head over here. And now our, the truck actually has stuff in the back of it. That's pretty cool. Explore the nearby mountain using the drone? Open tab, use drone. Okay, uh, shift to go up. So it looks like the way we're gonna get up here is just going around this way. Visit the top of a mountain with a drone. That is so cool. Exit the drone and continue, uh, okay. Does it come back? <laughs> all right, all we have to do is get up here and we'll be good. You know what, should we air down for this? Oh, we're gonna air down for this. Decrease pressure, confirm. Airing down, that'll give us a smoother ride. Should be able to crawl over some of these rocks a little bit better. Oh, we got a little bit of a lip here. Uh, stage completed. Now what does it want us to do? Use the winch to get your vehicle out of trouble. Attach it to uh, natural elements uh, or your own anchor points and pull. Okay. Trees are common uh, and useful winch points. Be careful, they can break. Press F to attach the winch. Okay. Oh, the winch is automatically connected. Pull, push, release. How come the winch is pulling from the back of the truck? Oh gosh, why is it pulling from the back right there? There we go, we're good, we're good. Release the winch. That was weird, I don't know why I wasn't pulling from the front. Okay, stage completed. <laughs> you can also find the winch in the devices tab menu. Okay, cool. I think we're good. I think we are just fine. Check it out, we made it up here. Stage completed. Uh, deliver supplies. Sometimes in expeditions, you'll have to complete quest item deliveries or complete structure construction. That's what I'm excited about. So radio station deliver. Oh, see, look at that. We're setting up like a base camp thing. This is super cool. I'm excited. <laughs> now, what does it want us to do? Look at that. We got a radio tower. Binoculars are a great way to explore the map and find useful places or convenient paths for a vehicle to pass. Um, open the mini map. So look at the marked area on the map and then scout it, M. Okay, so we need to get over here and we need to scout how we're gonna get over there. So obviously we're gonna go down this hill, this way, this way, this way, over here, up here, uh, probably up through here and then up there, okay. So let's get our binoculars. I've discovered an airdrop. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Is there anything else we can discover? That's cool. All right, so once we go up here now. All right, using a drone, you can discover um, unexplored parts of the map. Okay. Use the drone to discover all the marked areas. So we need to discover like this whole area right here. And we need to discover like how we're gonna get down and around and through here, okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay, oh wow, those hills are way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Oh, we discovered a new airdrop. Right there. Bad signal. We're not even that far away. They must have got this. They must have got this drone off. This drone off of like Wish or something. All right, we're good. Next point. All right, let's do this. I want to get across. At any time during the expedition, you can recover your vehicle to the field base. Find and choose the field base, and then hit recover. Oh, I don't want to recover though. Oh, do I have to? Hold the last waypoint. Clear route. Wait, what? Find and choose the field base. It's right here, right? Okay, so field operation base, field operation base, 
recover. Okay. It was a little finicky on how it was like the, the mouse placement. All right. Um, can I like turn off my engine? There we go. We don't need to, we don't need to be wasting gas over here. All right. Uh, trade for our next action. Okay. So what does one mean to trade? Uh, looks like we've got fuel and then we've got some spare parts and then we've got extra wheels used to replace or repair broken truck wheels can't be transferred okay so we can't do that so we got fuel we got extra stuff okay cool we we look we should be good here uh recover to the base and park the truck oh it wants me to park the truck right here oh that was it take less than 200 damage 500 um first expedition outpost truck what is this i don't know get rewards okay Jack screw two of two first expedition items sold. We get 3,200, Is that what we got? Oh my gosh. 37 expeditions, 37. Oh man, little Colorado. So it looks like little Colorado might be like our learning areas, nearby areas, metal detector, stone forward. Uh, not far from training base. We left valuable cargo. Use the metal detector to search for objects. All right, well, let's do this. Let's, let's get into these. This sounds fun. Um, let's see. We're going 760 uh, truck scout. So wants one of these little guys. Okay. So we've got either there. That looks pretty sick. I like this one. What is the difference here? Tank. Oh, this one has a little bit bigger of a tank. Okay. We're going to take this one. Um, I need a device. Wait, exterior roof metal detector. Wait, so did it No, Did it put it on there for me? Oh, free Bye. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a huge metal detector. <laughs> Look at the size of that metal detector. It's a gigantor. <laughs> that's funny. Um, okay, how far are we going? We are, we're not going very far, right? This has like a range of 3,400. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, let's see, height differences, need more, need more spare parts. Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. Start expedition. This little thing looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. It's adorable. All right, so where are we going here? We are going to use metal detector in the specified area. So is this the area that we're supposed to be metal detecting? All right, uh, building modules, not building modules. Hold on. Is it devices? Metal detector? Oh. Detect. Close. Use a metal detector in the specified area. What does it want me to do for here for building though? Hold on a second. It looks like we can build stuff here. Airdrop, airdrop. Where's the specified area? Oh, it wants me to go all the way back over here? Well, why am I going all the way back over here? What? <laughs> okay, the recovery is free. Why? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know why it, uh, stage completed if the indicators of the metal detector turn white it means there that there are objects to search within a radius of 200 meters a metal detector gives you information base about the location okay so we've got red resources blue is items and green is upgrades um okay so now we need to choose a metal detector that's a sick metal detector okay so we've got something right there it's like right here right now if i do this See, I can see that it says it's, oh, well, no, it looks like it's over there now. Oh, is it that spot over there, maybe? All right, let's see. I'm going to the blue one. I don't, I don't know which one I'm supposed to be going to. Find green, blue, and red signals. I'm wondering if it's that thing up there on the cliff. We're going to go up there and look. I think it's this thing right here. Yep, that was one of them. You have discovered a new airdrop. Oh, do I need it? Do I, do I get it? Oh. Oh, it has. Oh, we probably should take that and anchor. Okay. So now we need to find green and red signals. All right. looks like we're backing down this hill. I love backing down hills. You know, it's like this, it's the, the most fun you can have right before, right before you're about to die, you know, back down the hill that you're scared of. All right. Metal detect. Where are we going? We need to find red and green. Oh, there's some green stuff over there and red stuff over there. Okay. All right. We're going over there. All right, it looked like it was like right over here somewhere. 
Now, is there anything marked? Because it almost looked like it was underground. That way. I don't see anything marked, though. Okay, it looks like there are ways out there. Like, does it... If I go into the map here... Oh! It's saying in this area is... Okay, so let's do this. Let's try... Let's drive around. You know, this little guy is cute, uh, but I don't... <laughs> I don't know that it was the right thing for the, I mean, I guess maybe it was. Oh God, oh God, engine damage. I'm trying to see where we're going here. I bet you that stuff's in the valley in here. Yep, there it is. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to put in the um, four wheel drive here. There we go, baby, let's go. Ooh, this is gonna be a sneaky, sneaky area. All right, we're going in. Get upgrade. Okay. Upgrade obtained a high range gearbox with an increased gear count, top speed, and fuel efficiency at the expense of lower strength. This item to be equipped in the garage and customization menu, not available. Oh, that's cool. So you go around and unlock upgrades and stuff in here. That's neat. Okay, can we get out of here now? There's a tree right there, so we might be able to, we might have to use the tree to get out of here. I'm going to see if we can use this ledge right here, though. Maybe. Nope, we're gonna have to winch. Um, tab, winch. From here to there. There we go. So you, so we can select where we put it. Oh God. It's not exactly how I wanted to go. But you know what? It worked. It worked. Oh, no, no, don't go back in there. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> we almost, we almost went back in. Okay, so we got that. So now uh, it looks like there's another upgrade in this area. So basically, once we do the scan, it looks like it opens the area that it's gonna be at. So now we just gotta head back over there. Okay, so there's a couple ways we could go. We could go the way we came, or we could go through the swamp. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking it's swamp time. I'm thinking that there's no better time to go into a swamp than right now. What is that? Is that like the is that like the top of a vehicle in the water right there? Good lord, we're hitting a lot of everything right here. All right, we're good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go into the swamp. Let's go. Oh yes. Uh oh. Oh dear. Um. Okay, might have been a bad idea. Let's go ahead and uh, tire. <laughs> Let's pressure down just a little bit. Guys, I might have made a mistake here. This might have been a bad idea. Okay. Uh, let's go into um. Let's throw into low and let's throw the diff lock on. Uh, you know, the swamp might have been a bad idea. Okay, we can't, we're gonna have to take the diff lock off and we're gonna have to put it into um, auto, no diff lock. Oh gosh. Guys, the swamp is, this is not made for swamp. It might be time to winch ourselves out. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we're out. Okay, disconnect. Oh my gosh. Whew. We made it. Um, well, I guess this we're not gonna go across the swamp. Maybe <laughs> I can we didn't even, we made it like we didn't even make it into the swamp. Like we didn't even touch the water here. Alright, we're gonna go around, I guess. Oh geez. How bad is our engine right now? It's at 92%. We're fine. You know what, we aired down and uh, man, the tires are grabbing onto these rocks, great. You know, I can't take it out of the diff and I don't know why. I tried putting it in neutral, I tried putting it back in low and taking it out of uh, the diff lock. I don't know what the deal is, but I can, I cannot, I cannot take it out of the diff lock right now. Okay, so where are we going here? Literally just like straight in front of us over here. Is it those right there? No, those are for buildings. Oh, we're going over this way. Okay, now they're in here somewhere. Oh, there they are over there. Okay. Easy peasy. We've done it. My gosh. Expedition complete. Get rewards. Uh, I'm going to hit continue so we can get this. And, oh, we, it's fuel. Do I need some? I don't really need fuel, though. Okay, we're just going to leave it here. All right, so we've completed our expedition. So now we can go ahead. We can hit here. And then I can go ahead and recover for free. And then that is it, right? So there's that um, inventory. I probably don't need that in there, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. And then return to headquarters.
Okay, so Little Colorado. That was cool. Oh my gosh, this is actually a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I knew this would be fun. Uh, I like delivering the things and doing that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited to um, definitely check out like Arizona. And oh my god, this looks beautiful. Like Arizona looks like you know classic, like you know wheelie area. But like this one, this one looks looks nice. Um, and that's like oh, we have mod regions as well. I can't even, I can't wait to see like the mod vehicles and stuff like that. Um, oh, let's go into garage. So. Are these all the vehicles that we currently have right now? It looks like these are all we have. I wonder if, oh, there's a truck store. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have to look. We've got all these Dawn 71s. There's our Loadster. Loadster 1700 SE. We got our step sides. Ooh, look at that guy. There's our little uh, cute little guy that we've been enjoying this whole time. We've got, oh, look at, is that a six wheeler? <gasps> we got a six wheeler. It's got two front wheels and well, that's weird. Oh my gosh. Oh, we've got a, a, like an armored vehicle. Why would you need an armored vehicle for that? I don't know. That's cool though. A Con 39 Marshall. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> oh my gosh. We need that. I need, the, we need the van. We need the van. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Tatra, that's cute. Oh, that looks sick. Now, how do we unlock these? Uh, complete attempt to ford the river to unlock. Okay. So we have to complete different missions or whatever in order to unlock some of these. Oh, that's super cool. These are all really neat. That's going to be cool. That's going to be very cool. But that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Let me know. What do you think? Are you going to be picking up expeditions? Did you play Snow Runner? Did you play Mud Runner? I'm curious. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is looking pretty cool. I'm excited. And... Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.